Hi everyone, okay, here's the next uh, great exercise to help uh, with your balance and stability in the lunge and adding in a bit of rotational movement and a bit more control now. That's obviously vital because we're swinging and hitting the ball at different speeds, different tempos. So whilst we're balancing in our lower body, we also need to be able to mobilize our upper body and still maintain that sturdy, stable, controlled position in the legs or the lunge in terms of what we're practicing today. So, you're going to take that lunge position. I've got a little tool of a tennis ball here, okay? And basically, when I'm in this position that we've practiced, where I'm nice and deep in my lunge, centrally in between both feet, I can now have a little play around, just throwing and catching the ball. Left and right hand is useful. Keeping low all the time, keeping stable. You can increase the rotation if you want with your shoulders but try to make sure the mid area of the body stays the same. You then switch your leg position, do the same. This is a bit more like a backhand when I'm throwing here, but you see the mid area of my body is staying very calm and stable, and I'm not fighting too much to balance here, okay? You would then switch and you would do the alternative way, like so, because it is the opposite rotational movement. And now to this way. You can play around, do some fancy stuff through the legs. Whoa, testing my balance there now. But any challenge to that, really, really, really useful. Okay, now with that in mind, this is more about the control because the tennis ball is light. It's still very, very difficult to maintain that coordination of catching and throwing while stabilizing there. If you wanted to add a little bit of strength into this exercise, with the rotational movement and developing the obliques. I've got a three kilo ball here. You could do a one kilo, could even be half. The weight is not too extreme, but you now come into this balanced position, hold the ball right out in front of you, and you're now looking for this more explosive throwing technique. Switch the legs. It's definitely good to do maybe 10 repetitions. Make sure you stay low the whole time in the legs whilst doing so. Rotate the other way around as well, same principles. Switch my legs as well so I get that rotation on all sides. This one's a little bit more tricky for me. And that tests the balance more and also increases more strength whilst doing it. Okay. Good luck with those.